Hello and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. Uh, we didn't do a video poem yesterday, not that anybody will notice. This particular poem is following a very classical structure. <clears throat> I tend not to use um, structures too much, rhyming structures, um, partly because sometimes I feel it limits the meaning behind the poem. Sometimes the structure of the poem takes over the actual intent of the poem. And this particular poem is a sonnet, 14 lines. There are a number of different types of sonnets. Uh, I've played around with many of them, the most classic one being the Shakespearean or English sonnet. Um, that tends to have a rhyme structure A, B, A, B, um, C, D, C, D, E, F. Um, hopefully I've got that right then. So it's three stanzas of four lines, uh, rhyme and A, B, and then it ends with a, sometimes referred to as a pithy couplet at the end. However, this particular one is an older type of sonnet and it's called an Italian sonnet. And it came from an idea posted in a poetry group that I set up many years ago. Um, the Poetry Jam Collective, it was called. And, uh, one of the members of that asked whether anybody had ever come across an optimistic sonnet. And this was my response. An optimistic Italian sonnet. Ask for the strength to overcome weakness. Alongside the patience to let things go. Tempered with the reasoning to just know when it's time for a little forgiveness. Sometimes you look funny. Seeing kindness where in fact only contempt will grow. Shrug away the hurt, heart on show and face the narrow-minded with gracefulness. Remain true to who you are, really are. Breathe deep, take time to think. Is success just a matter of perception? This flash of light, a blinding star, pushing you towards the brink of realising the depths of self-deception.